Welcome into homecoming Saturday, a perfect day for football here at Gibbs Stadium, where this afternoon the Wofford Terriers get ready to take on the VMI Cadets. Wofford coming off a dramatic 24-20 win at Samford a week ago, entering with a Southern Conference record of 2-1, 4-3 overall, take on a struggling VMI team. They are 0-3 in the league and 1-7 and overall, though last week VMI overcame an 18-point deficit in the fourth quarter, forcing over time only to lose at home to Gardner Webb. Can the Terriers make it two in a row and stay alive in the SoCon race? Let's find out. Here are your highlights. Look for Terrence Morris and Daryl Vining to start on the outside at linebacker, uh, backed up by uh, Michael Roach, who is primarily a special teams guy. Evan Jacks remains out at the quarterback spot for a second consecutive week. He missed last week's game at uh, Birmingham and at Samford with a foot injury. Could be back in time for Chattanooga, which comes up in two weeks, so Michael Weimer makes his second consecutive start. Bernard Williams remains out at corner with an ankle injury, and Chris Boudreau, who was hurt on a special teams play last week at Samford, reserve nose tackle, is out this week for Wofford. This is as long an injury list as we've seen for the Terriers all season long. How are you feeling? You all right? I I'm okay. okay. I'm okay, though so my back was a little cricky this morning, but I'm all right. This is the 18th all-time meeting between these programs dating back to 1927. VMI leads it 10-7 in the series. However, Wofford has a 7-1 advantage in the last eight games. Opening kick deep, midway deep in the end zone, and the return man will take a knee, and Wofford will start this drive from their 20-yard line. Second and 18 Terriers from their 17. Weimer will work from the shotgun, a single back sidecar left, three receivers, two left, one right. Pass to the far flat, caught at the 20, and the receiver fumbles the football. It's loose on the ground at the 20-yard line, and the Terriers get back on it. It's going to be third down and long, but that could have been disastrous. Chris Copeland was the guy who made the tackle and popped the ball loose from the guy who caught it for Wofford. Will Irwin. That was Will Irwin out there. The play picked up three, so now it's going to be third and 15 Wofford. Opening drive has not gone swimmingly for the home team on homecoming. Opening two minutes of the ball game were scoreless. On third and long, Weimer pitch near corner. Gay has room, 25, bounces outside the 30. He will step out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He needed the 35 for a first down, so let's see if he got there. He is run out of bounds by the corner. Damian Jones, a redshirt sophomore from Richmond, Virginia. And Will Gay, indeed, by the nose of the football, got the first down. Second down, we'll call it a... Long four from the Terrier 40 and a half yard line out of the gun, Weimer. Again, it's a handoff, long left side, all sorts of room 50. Lorenzo up the far hash mark, 40 to the 30, tries to get by a man cutting left at the 25. He is dropped in the secondary at the 22 yard line by Damian Jones, but Lorenzo Long with a big run, first and 10, Wofford. Huge hole on the left side, nice job by Lorenzo to hit it hard and get down the field. Now, uh, Wofford on a drive that looked like it may be doomed is Really got it clicking and is knocking on the door of the red zone. 10.37 to play, clock moving first quarter. Odom's in, there's your wishbone. Terriers go to the double tight end, wishbone formation, handoff long right side, bangs into the pile and he is stuffed at the two, it is fourth down. Only got a yard, maybe two, it's gonna be fourth and goal from about the one and a half. He is stopped by Kratzenberg, so the Terriers in a scoreless game in close, no sign of the field goal unit. They're going to go for it on fourth and goal. And now they're gonna shuttle in a whole host of new guys, including Zach Muller at tight end, Will Gay, Will Irwin. So they're not gonna line up in the double tight end formation here. Fourth down and goal at the one. Wofford trying to get in on the opening drive. Two receivers left, one to the right. Long alongside the quarterback, Weimer out of the gun, and we get flags as the ball is snapped, and did somebody jump? And if so, we might see the field goal unit. Let's wait for the official. Where the flag is thrown, it's thrown by one of the back judges in the back corner of the end zone. This may be uh, on the defense the illegal, for illegal substitution. Could be. On the defense. Five-yard penalty, half the distance, still fourth down. All right, illegal substitution. So it'll be fourth and goal from what? The half yard line now. Yeah. They want to go back to that wishbone. This will be the 11th play of the Terrier drive. It started at their 25. Here it comes. There's your. Yep. 
And instead of two tight ends, it's actually two tackles. That's right. Wofford has about 2,100 pounds of human being across the front line. This is all, uh, we'll get into this later in the broadcast, this is all Eric Nash's doings. Fourth and goal from the half-yard line. They go to the wishbone with two tight ends. Hand off, Lorenzo Long, right side. Touchdown! Got in. Wofford has the initial lead. Terrier defense with a 7-0 lead, trying to force a three and out. Third and 12 VMI from their 26 right hash. Four receivers for Cobb, two to either side. A single back side car left. Cobb in the pocket, will throw down the middle, intercepted. Drake Michelson at the 37 to the 30, to the 25, to the 20 yard line. First down Wofford, Michelson has his second pick of the year. Had to move hash marks, they had it set on the high school hash marks. Oops. Third down and 11 from the key at 19. Back to throw Weimer with time in the pocket. Airs it out near side. Over the shoulder. Catch at the three. Touchdown, Wofford. That is Will Irwin on the catch. What a gorgeous touch pass thrown by Michael Weimer. He beat Alex James, the free safety in single coverage. Irwin with a touchdown reception. Right hash mark. They send one receiver to the short side. Two of them come to the left. They've got an H-back lined up to the right. And Cobb will go out of the gun with a back sidecar left. Terriers will rush four. Cobb will throw to the near side, caught underneath the coverage at the 28, but the receiver immediately taken down. So the Terriers with Lenore, Miller, Way, Chamberlain, and Warby to lead the way. First and 10, they go from the wing bone. And it's a handoff, cut back run to the left, and that's good yards. Harden, 30, he's to the 40, far sideline. Octavius Harden to the 50, he will get to the 40, run out of bounds at the VMI 38. A long run for Octavius Harden. First and 10 from the VMI 37, Wingbone. Play action, Weimer, straight drop, going to throw it deep over the middle, and we've got a jump ball at the goal line, and that pass is intercepted. VMI has picked the ball off in the end zone. The intended target down there was Will Irwin, but Weimer threw it into double coverage. Greg and Sanders. VMI's Greg Sanders has come out of there with a pick. Back up safety. Just inside the 50, moving right to left. They send two receivers to the wide side. That's the right, a single man comes to the left. Watts is the lone back, seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he will get the carry, and he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Wide left goes Irwin, Wade Francis to the right. That is the wide side of the field. He's got a single corner out there with him. Terriers go to the wing bone on third and three. Man in motion near side, he'll get the toss. Gay looking for a blocker, first down. Two receivers left, one to the right. Weimer out of the gun, Ford handoff and good room. 35-40, out to the 45, the ball carrier ahead, slanting left to the 50. Look at him keep the pile moving forward all the way down to the VMI 47, what a run. Third down, we'll call it seven from just outside the VMI 10. Two receivers left, one to the right. Out of the gun, Weimer, two backs behind him. Hand off, left side, very little doing. About a two yard carry. Ensminger with the tackle on the ball carrier. It was Will Gay and Wofford now looking at fourth down and about five and now David Marvin will get a chance to try a field goal and add to a 14-0 lead. David Marvin, four out of five, four out of five on his field goal kicks last or uh, this year. Last week he kicked a 44-yarder at Samford. This will be a 27-yard try from dead ahead. Good snap, spot down by Sanders. Plenty of distance on the kick, and it is good in terms of balls caught, averaging about eight yards per catch. First and 10 from the 24. Cobb, handoff, Watts on the draw. He has room, slanting left, 25-30, He's got a first down run to the 37 to the 38. Good call right there for VMI. Dylan Young and Breon Anderson combine on the tackle for Wofford. Kedet second and five at the Terrier 45 on the left hash. They send two receivers right and a single man to the left. Watts remains the lone back behind Cobb who will work up under center. And he wants to throw again. Down the middle with it, caught and then dropped by the receiver. Oh, did he take a shot. The receiver for VMI, J.C. Garvin, a reserve tight end, had that ball in his chest, but Breon Anderson laid into him and jarred the ball loose. It is an incomplete pass. Third and eight, VMI at the 24. Three receivers left, one to the right. That's the short side. It's Burton, single back. Cobb out of the gun will throw incomplete. Put it behind the receiver as he wanted to hit Aaron Sanders at the far hash mark. He threw it across the field 
incomplete about the 17 yard line. It is fourth down, Terrence Morris and Drake Michelson in pass coverage. Not a wealth, that's two straight poorly thrown balls there by Cobb, though that could have been miscommunication on the route. And there also was some pressure coming. Kevin Thomas was applying a lot of heat. All right, on fourth and eight, VMI going to send out the field goal unit. This is Dylan Christopher. He's only three for nine on his kicks this year. 41-yard try from the right hash mark. Kick on the way, end over end. It has the distance, and it is good. Now they signal for a first down. They move the sticks. First and 10 Terriers from the 33. Weimer's going to air it out to the far side. Got a man open, and that is caught by Will Irwin. He stays in bounds and then steps out of bounds at the key deck, 27-yard line. Fine throw by Weimer. Hung up there for a while. Irwin had to wait on it, make sure he had at least one foot in bounds, and then his momentum carries him out. First down, Wofford. Terriers third and three at the 20-yard line in the VMI end of the field. 39 seconds to play in the half. Wofford up 14 points. Handoff long right up the gut. First down and more. 15 to the 10. Pushes the pile all the way down to the five-yard line. And they're going to bring on the beef. Seven offensive linemen with Zach Muller at the top of the triangle in the old wishbone formation. Watch the pass to Zach Muller coming Nelson out Nelson and Long are split behind him. On third and goal, Weimer going to roll to his right, looking to throw. Now he's under fire, rolling left, tucks it under his arm. He's going to make a run for the near pylon, diving. Did he get there? Touchdown, Wofford. What a run by Michael Weimer. Wow. They wanted Muller in the flat on the pass play. It wasn't there. He didn't try to force it. Just came back around to the other side and just beat a defender to the pylon. Great hustle by Michael Weimer. And he left one second to spare. How about that? All right. Joe Nelson, the nose, was the last guy with an angle, and Weimer beat him to the pylon with a dive from about the three-yard line. Watts alongside the quarterback, sidecar left. Cobb will take the shotgun snap. Terriers four on the line of scrimmage. Hand off Watson. He is hit in the backfield for a loss. Tarek Odom knifing in and making yet another tackle. Cobb out of the gun, four receivers. Terriers rush four. Cobb in the pocket. Look out. He's in trouble, and he'll be driven to the turf. Odom got there along with Darrell Vining. They will split the sack, and it is fourth down as the quarterback is dropped at the 18-yard line. That's why Tarek didn't want to come off the field. That's right. <laughs> it was a true rushing the quarterback situation. Remember, they were bogged down by penalties in this part of the field in the first half a couple of times. Second and goal from the two. Two receivers left, one to the right. Weimer from the gun. Gay motions near side. Handoff long right up the middle. Up in the air he goes. Touchdown, Terriers. Second down and eight at the 11. Two receivers right, one to the left. Watts remains the fullback for VMI as they're looking to get into the end zone in the Terrier end of the field. Hand off Watts coming left. He will slip a tackler at the 10, keep his feet, and he'll be marked yeah, down at the, the seven. Again. And that'll bring up third down and about three for the key. That's Breon Anderson with the stop for Wofford out of the secondary. VMI left to right as we come back. Fourth and two at the Terrier six. Single back for Cobb out of the gun. Tight end shuffling in motion right. Play action for the quarterback. In the pocket. Throws to the back of the end zone. Incomplete pass. The receiver caught it standing on the back line. Out of bounds. Sam Patterson couldn't haul it in inbounds. And the Terrier defense with yet another red zone stop inside the five-yard line. Cole Higby was in pass coverage, but Cobb, who was under some pressure that time, maybe threw it off his back foot just a little bit. It floated on him. Flat right for Wofford. That is Hunter Windham, one man to the left for Brandon Goodson. Out of the gun. He's going to tuck it and run now as he looked to throw initially to the 50 to the 45. And then he has stood up and sat down at the 43-yard line. Boy, did he take a lick right there from Allen Kratzenberg, a 220-pound freshman with a hit on Brandon Goodson. Popped right up there. That's good to see. Toughness from the quarterback. at the VMI 28, leading this thing 31 to three late in the ball game. Goodson will throw down the middle, man open, diving catch at the four yard line made by Hunter Windham, it's first and goal. Redshirt freshman Hunter Windham from Ainer, South Carolina at 195 pounds, laid out for that ball and hung on at the three yard line. It's a 25 yard catch. Very nicely done. 
if that ball was thrown a little bit more accurately, he's got it for a touchdown. touchdown. He was yeah. wide open. Nonetheless, it's first and goal from the three for the Terriers. So now they're knocking on the door with 2.13 to play. Good hands for a running back right there. Yeah, Hunter's a, he's a great kid too. Two tight ends, wing bone formation. Chase Nelson, the fullback, counter give to the left. Chris Martin, left side, he's in. Touchdown, Terriers. Great block by Hunter Wyndham. Chris Martin with his first touchdown as a college football player, and Wofford now leads this thing 37 to three. And Mike Ayer is about to go to 21 and six in homecoming games. Here's how to keep the alums happy. David Marvin's extra point kick on the way out of Sanders' hold, and it is good. We'll take another break. 2.04 to play in the football game. Terriers now lead it over VMI, 38-3. This is the Wofford IMG Sports Network. All right, Coach, I know you were concerned about this one. You got up 24-3 at the half. Did that make you feel any better? Well, not really. Uh, they're a scary football team. Anytime you can throw the ball a lot like their quarterback could, um, You've got to always be leery. Uh, we uh, knew going in that uh, they had scored six touchdowns the week before, had thrown for over, I think, 350 yards, and they've got good players. Uh, we're a team nicked up on both sides of the ball, and uh, in some cases we, we didn't have the depth that, that we would like. but. All that being said, I thought our kids played hard, uh, played well for the most part, and uh, gave us an opportunity to be successful. Uh, defensively, we're growing, we're getting better. Uh, those young ones, and I'm talking about freshmen, and redshirt freshmen, they're, they're starting to get it, connect the dots, and, and that's really important. Um, the, the future, uh, there's three very difficult opponents very difficult games. Uh, for us to uh, keep our head above water, we, we've got to continue to improve. You know, you talked about your freshmen on defense. Early in the year, your defense was having all sorts of trouble with the quick pass offense. VMI did a lot of that today. Right. You kept them out of the end zone the entire day. So talk about the improvement they've made. Well, they've made a ton of improvement. Our, our two secondary coaches, uh, Coach Shadon Brown, and uh, Coach Philip Pigott, they, they've done a great job with those guys. Uh, you, you've got to be married up in your secondary. Everybody's got to see what they got to see. And uh, as far as their, their initial uh, keys and, and then their initial read off the keys. So uh, getting better, getting better, and, and that's very encouraging. Two straight weeks at quarterback now for Michael Weimer. Uh, yeah. Another winning performance for him. What did you like? Uh, the yeah, only thing I didn't like was, was that one intercept. Uh, threw the ball well, uh, directed the football team extremely well. Uh, got a couple times where we had to almost lost a pitch, but uh, I think with a few more reps, he, he'll, he'll be all right. All right, open week and a lot of dinged up guys. Right. <laughs> How many need to get healthy? And I know the answer is all of them, but where are you with all that right now? Well, everybody's got something at this point. Uh, some guys are... Um, in a situation where I, I don't know if two weeks is going to be enough time for them to get uh, get ready to play, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll freshen up the legs a little bit um, and uh, be as healthy as we can be. Come out and, and uh, for the next three weeks, uh, it's it's the Super Bowl. You, you gotta you gotta play your best ball here at the end. Chattanooga is next. They got you at their place last yeah. year. Uh, Russ has another very good team. They've got a great defense. What, right. what do you think will be the biggest key offensively against a defense with that kind of speed up front? Well, the, the biggest thing that you've got to do is stay away from negative plays and stay away from turnovers. Uh, when you look at them offensively, there they're, uh, are a myriad of, of uh, different things. They run the option. They'll run uh, the uh, – the zone stretch play, they'll, they'll do a lot of play action. Uh, they, they have, uh, it, it's almost, a, it looks like an Auburn kind of team. Uh, Russ's son is an outstanding quarterback. He's a great athlete. He can run. He can beat you with his feet, with his arm. And then uh, offensive line-wise, uh, I really respect the way those guys play. Uh, 
Defensively, they, they've always been top notch. Uh, they have tremendous speed. Uh, their defensive ends, mm, they, they run like backs. And uh, it's tough to run away from them. It's tough to get a real big play on them. And, and you gotta, you got to have a grind mentality. you got to be satisfied with three yards, four yards, five yards if you can get that. And, uh, and, and you got to uh, have everything buttoned up as far as special teams as well. All right, Coach, enjoy this one. Enjoy your week off. Okay, take care. So with today's 38-3 victory over VMI, the Terriers up their SOCON record to 3-1. They also remain perfect at home on the season at 4-0. The Terriers have an open week coming up and then a big game at Chattanooga on November the 8th a game that could well decide who will win the Southern Conference Championship this year. That'll happen at Finley Stadium with a kickoff of 1 o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.